Hello and welcome to Gloucester. I've just had an interesting day. A guy called Stuart dropped me a line a few weeks back. He's on holiday from Australia. Do you fancy a knock? And of course the answer is yes. So what you are about to see with a set of very poor hire clubs or old hire clubs rather than poor hire clubs so we went and played 18 and we recorded a few shots and a few irons and uh, a few chips and putts and we'll put it together and turn it into some sort of a video it's obviously not all 18 holes it is not every shot it's just not possible not unless you want to spend seven hours to, to have a round of golf but this is a memento for Stuart's holiday. Enjoy. So we start the video on the sixth tee. Now Stuart has been absolutely bombing this old G2 ping driver. And he's got a tailor-made five wood which is also bombing. Nice, sweet. The problem is, is the irons. Oh, and it bounced oh, right. That's the a brand bounce. we've never heard yeah. of. They're big and chunky. And they got flexible graphite shaft so he's struggling to time them properly this one gets caught up in the trees on the right and we do some hacking before we go to the seventh I'm out with three wood nice shot Stuart's got the tailor-made five wood Absolutely nuts it. That is an absolute Perfect treat. fade round the corner. That is super. You can't ask for more than that. I didn't try to shape it. But with the irons, he's either got a wedge or a 64 and nothing in between. So what you're gonna see oh, come on, be kind. is him be fighting kind. to right to the back. Keep the wedge under control and hit it shorter than it's going full distance. Putting down the green. No, you do have to hit it. Don't you? It'll make it. Now, I'm a bad caddy because I actually gave him that line and I got it all wrong. Cool. But tidy it up for par. On to eight. I absolutely slaughter this drive. Just strengthen my grip a tiny bit. Didn't need to. Stuart went with an iron and he's played up the hole with an iron. Which is how I do it in my videos, isn't it? Just missed the green to the right. Nice little pitch. I gotta land this on by about a yard. And I do that. Depends on the bounce and the roll. Nice birdie chance. Oh, and I do that. On to nine. Yeah, Hit mine right. a little right. Come off the bank, and I've held the green. Take it off my card, Nicky. Are you sure? All right, I'll put it on this card. <laughs> Stuart goes a little further right. Again, these these irons just don't suit him. They don't suit him at all. It's coming. That didn't quite make its way down onto the green. And a bit of a poor chip. I don't understand. Not surprising, that. really, because he wanted a sand wedge and he hasn't got a sand wedge. Ooh. That was a bit enthusiastic, wasn't it? No, didn't want to come, did it? Oh, oh you idiot. <laughs> well, Simon gave you that. Yeah, edit that one out. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh. On to 11, I'm trying a 5-iron. Seen as the previous day, my 4-iron went through the back and was lost. 
I just managed to bounce it up onto the front. Can't remember what Iron Stewart's got. Bit of a thin. Catches the edge of the pond and disappears. Disappeared. Speed. I get me par. Every spring I what I was impressed on. with is how Stuart managed to put across this slope. Yeah, that is really tidy. On to 12. He said he, you, you don't realise how intimidating this out of bounds is until you actually stand here and you've got to hit one. Just do that. In fact, he said it's very funny because you get to see the tee shot, then you get to see the second shot. But it isn't until you're actually on the course that you see all the land in between the tee and the green. Shot tracer wouldn't do his thing here for me. No, no shot tracer. Come down. Come That's on down. gone a little long and it's ended up on the bank. Where again, he probably wanted a sand wedge. Yeah. I helped the team out by getting the par. And then we go on to the par three. Now Stuart is from Yarra Ambat Park golf course Shot. near Perth in Australia and he brought hold a it. towel hold. and a hat sit, sit, and a sit, ball sit. so thank you very much Bye. the other thing he said was they have kangaroos all over the course and they're very good at keeping the rough down so I'm going to have a word with the director at Gloucester and um, see if nice we can there. import a couple of hundred kangaroos Tidy bogey. keep our rough down I'll take that after what I've been doing recently Now I can't remember how old a Ping G2 driver is. Probably shot. somewhere of the order of 18 to 20 years. And this is absolutely beasted down there. Which just goes to show that it's quality of strike over age of club and another struggle with having a pitching wedge instead of the club that you really want. And no surprise is he's gone long again. Although I have to say the greens are a little firm. And that's why I went long as well. The putter he's got is a... Um, it's a two ball, but it's not the original two ball, it's a copy of the two ball. It, I had a go with it, and I thought it was absolutely miserable. You know, people ask me, when you go to Thailand, do you take your own clubs? Yes. Because although you can hire clubs out there, why would you? Why would you want to play... 12 rounds of golf that was a lazy 12 wedge different too. bags of clubs. It just wouldn't work, would it? That just catches the edge of the green, shoots across the, the trench, and finishes in an absolutely miserable position. So it's up to me to make the par for the team. The now on 17, I didn't film 17, but Stuart hit a wonderful high hook with the 5 wood onto the green. Down the last, me to go first. It's not what I wanted because it isn't going to get to the bottom, but it's just fine. Sadly, Stuart signs off with a lost ball. I bet those grips were slippy after all that rain. This lands about a yard on the green 
and only just stays on the green. This is why I'm personally having trouble with scoring at the moment. Cheerio! This must be a rock to hit the sound.